assalamu alaikum students in this lecture we will talk about the morphology anatomy function and specialized form of stem okay class first we will learn about the uh, different features and function of stem then we will study about the structure on the outside of stem and the woody dicot stem anatomy uh, then we will learn about the internal structure of dicot and monocot stem at at the end we will uh, discuss about the modify and specialized form of stem okay from this lecture student will understand different uh, features of stem its function its morphology and form of modified stem the plant body of a typical flowering plant can be divided into the underground root system and the aerial shoot system the shoot system is heterogeneous the shoot system means stem is an aerial and erect part of plant body that grows upward it is usually above the soil and develops from the plumule of the embryo it consists of stem branches leaves flowers fruits and seeds branches arise from axillary buds present in the axil of leaves therefore the development of branches is exogenous the stem is negatively geotrophic means move above the soil negatively hydrotrophic means move away from the water and positively phototrophic moves toward the light okay let's talk about the different features of stem as we all know that uh, stem grows erect it uh, lifts the uh, leaves exposing them to sunlight a stem is differentiated into nodes and alternating internodes uh, multicellular hair may be present on the stem which is also called trichomes a stem transport water as solutes uh, between roots and leaves a stem in some plants are photosynthetic and stems may uh, store materials necessary for life for example water starch sugar in some plants uh, stems have become become adopted for a specialized function some stems grow beneath the soil instead of above these are usually underground stem uh, such as the rhizome of ginger okay and the tuber of potato a stem have many important function in plant okay they are responsible for the size and shape of plant some are made up of wood and some are herbaceous stems support the leaves able to stretch the leaves into the best position for catching sunlight move water mineral and food throughout the plant body stem can also produce food through photosynthesis it is not the main job of stem but will only occur in plants with small or no leaves stem also store food that has been manufactured by the plants there are many structures on the stem which are useful to us in identifying the plants sometimes it is easier to identify a plant by its stem rather than its leaf there are different structure found on the outside of the stem the first one is terminal bud which we also call as apical bud it contains apical meristem found at the tip of stem it increases the length of stem lateral bud also called the axillary bud that develops into a leaf or flower lateral and terminal bud are protected by a bud scale which helps the bird in survival under harsh environment whereas a bird scale scale is the mark left on the stem when the bird scales fall from the emerging bud okay and next is node node is a part where the leaf and bud attaches to the stem Internode. Internode is a portion or a distance between two nodes. It tells us how much a tree grew in one season. Leaf scar. Leaf scar is the mark left by a leaf after it falls off the twig 
or it marks the site where the petiole attached to the stem. It is just below the lateral bud. If you look at closely at the scar, you can see the remains of vascular tissues. Uh, lenticel. Lenticels are actually small spots or dot on the stem that allow a stem to exchange gases that is oxygen and carbon dioxide with environment. Trees are woody perennials. The stem is hard, woody and is called trunk. It may be unbranched as in case of palm tree deciduous. Some trees like mulberry and oak shed all their leaves at the peak summer or winter season. Such trees are described as deciduous, a tree or shrub shedding its leaf annually. Evergreen plant, a plant that has leaves throughout the year and are always green. Many other trees like mango etc. that do not shed their leaves. Okay, and there are four main forms of branching. Excurrent, decurrent, caudex and cult. In case of excurrent, there is a single main stem which gradually tapers from the base to the apex and produces smaller horizontal branches in acropital order. Acropital means the developing of stem upward toward the apex or you may also define excurrent in which the main trunk goes the entire height of the tree with branches forming pattern for example evergreen and pinus. Decurrent which we also call as delicacent, the main trunk continues up about halfway, then splits into more than one main branches. Or spreading crown consists of multiple stems. The tree trunk divided into many large lateral branches and, fo and form umbrella shaped pattern, for example, fruit trees. Okay, regarding the third form that is codex, the main trunk continues the full height of the tree with the branches forming only at the top or the main stem is very tall and unbranched and has a crown of leaves only at the top or apex okay for example uh, palm and coconut tree or uh, next is uh, culm culm is the aerial above ground stem of a grass it is derived from Latin word culmus, which means top. It is erect, hollow, jointed stem, and you can find this uh, pattern in bamboo, maize, and sugar cane. It has hollow internodes and solid prominent nodes. Such jointed uh, stem is called cul. Okay, angiosperms can be woody or herbaceous. Woody plants contain secondary tissue, mean bark, that surrounds the stem. They can live for several years. Okay? They are tough and hard and are not green in color. Larger in diameter, which help in the uh, uh, growth of stem. An example of woody stem is perennial. Okay? Hard are small plants with a soft and green stem. They reach a height of not more than 5 feet and are mostly annuals or biennial. Shrubs are woody perennial plants that may reach a height of 5 to 10 feet. Okay, Stem is often profusely branched giving a bushy appearance. Okay, and This figure shows the internal structure of tree trunk. The cells in stem of woody dicot plants are oriented in two different directions. The xylem and, and phloem are vertically arranged tissue, while the vascular cambium produces bundles of horizontally arranged cells. These cells are called vascular rays or sometimes in short we call rays. Rays passes through both xylem and phloem tissue. So uh, students, let's discuss this terminology in detail. Regarding tree rings, actually it is a ring that are visible where late and early wood meet and can be used to estimate a tree's age. 
Dendrochronology is the analysis of tree ring growth pattern, or you may also define it the study of the growth ring in wood. Now I will introduce some terminologies about woody dipole stem. Vascular rays. Rays allow for the little movement of water, dissolve minerals, sugars, and waste product within the stem. Spring wood is large, thin wall xylem cells produced in the spring of the year when water is usually in abundant supply. Summer wood, smaller, thicker wall xylem cells produced during the summer when water availability is more limited. Annual rings. One annual growth ring represents the amount of spring wood and summer wood that has occurred in a single growing season. Vascular cambium is the main growth tissue in the stem of many plants, especially in diagonals such as maple and oak trees, in case of gymnosperms such as pine trees, as well as in certain other vascular plants. It produces secondary xylem inwards towards the pith. So pith is a tissue in the stem of vascular plant that is composed of soft spongy parenchyma cells which store and transport nutrients throughout the plant. And secondary phloem outward toward the bark. Bark is the outermost layer of stem of woody plants. Regarding secondary vascular tissue, in this, a cell division by cambium produces cell that becomes secondary xylem and phloem. As secondary phloem and xylem tissue accumulate, it both increases the breadth, means the width of stem, and form wood and bark. As a tree or woody shrub, ages, the older layers of secondary xylem become plugged with resin and other waste product. When this happens, the xylem becomes thin or dark color and is not functionally xylem. It no longer transports water and minerals. It does, however, help strengthen the trunk of tree. So, uh, this type of wood we call as hardwood. Sapwood the outer layers, known as sap wood, still transport materials through the xylem that is actively conducting water, lighter in color than hardwood, and it surrounds the hardwood. The core cambium gives rise to the secondary plant body's protective covering or periderm. Periderm is actually the outer layer of plant tissue or we, we can also call it the outer bar. It consists of core cambium plus the layers of cork cells it produces. Bark consists of all the tissues external to the vascular cambium, including secondary phloem and periridium. In next part of this lecture, students, we will discuss about the anatomy of monopod and dicot stem, and also we will learn about the modified form of stem.